What's up everybody and welcome again to another show of Era of the Geeks. My name is Han and today I'm going to be cleaning up my station. It's because it's been a while since I cleaned it, especially my keyboard. It's gross. Feel your eyes, they all over me. Don't be shy, take control of me. Get the vibe, it's gonna be Gaming has never been more affordable with AVF and with their new AVF media box you can even enjoy 4K Ultra HD movies at only 259 ringgit. Check the link in the description below to get your own AVF media box. Right, so this video is going to be a two-part video which this video is going to be me cleaning this keyboard and the other video is going to be me changing some parts in my system and probably beautifying it, making it look better. No, no, I'm not going to be upgrading anytime soon. Probably, maybe not not like 1080 Ti or Ryzen or something because I, I, I kind of don't have any money. But before we start, for you newcomers here on the channel, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing because I will make more and more videos, more projects and more reviews. Now what you need to be cleaning a keyboard is a brush to brush your shoulders off, any cloth that you can find in the household, or um, what I'm using is actually this, the CyberClean, and a bowl for you to put your keycaps inside here and then put the water inside there. Now I know you geeks really love this part which is the time lapse of me pulling the keycap but basically that's because you don't have a life and me as well, I don't have a life as well. That's why I love to do this thing. Now one little reminder is that you should take a picture of the keyboard layout before you take them off is because you are forgetful. Now let's do this. Now with the keycaps right here, I'm just gonna put it in hot water. I don't have like a special solution or anything because it's not that sticky, because I don't have sticky hands, because I'm not that gross. Now next up, before I use this, I shall brush the keyboard with this and brush the keyboard like a boss man head that has no hair vigorously. Right, that's it. As it turns out, it turned out much better than I expected. I didn't really expect it to look really good. I probably should clean it up more often than usual. Well, ever. You guys should clean up your keyboard more often as well. Maybe it's just me who doesn't clean it up as much. And the good thing, it smells like... It doesn't smell like anything. Wait, I thought... I thought it's supposed to smell like... <laughs> so yeah, like I said, this is the first part of the video. The second part would be I would be adding some components inside my computer. It's not like a major upgrade or something and uh, doing some cable management and stuff. It's more like RGB stuff. So guys, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and do leave a like or dislike, comment, share and subscribe and do all those good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hair of the geeks, baby. This video is brought to you by Lucro PC, your one-stop destination for the best computer parts in Malaysia. Check them out in the link in the description below. Hey, hey, hey. I got a condo in Manhattan. 
Baby girl, what's happening? You and your ass invited So go and get to clapping Go pop a phone, pop, pop a phone me Turn around and drop it for a pop 